they see the letters that come in the mail, uh, you know, inducted into Phi Theta Kappa, uh, you receive this many scholarships, and they say, oh, you're making good grades, Dad? I said, yeah, look. I said, you know how hard it is to work and have a 4.0 GPA? I said, not a lot of people can do that. I said, but it all depends on if you want it. If you want it, you gotta go get it. Congratulations, y'all, y'all. Congratulations. We love you. We're so proud of you. Yay! Lacey, congratulations. Nurse Lacey Linscombe. We're so proud, honey. We're so proud of you. I know your dad's not here, but he's watching. He's looking. He is singing. He couldn't be more happy for your accomplishments. Go out and conquer the world, baby girl. We love you. On behalf of the Bats of Applied Technology Program, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Much good luck to you and come back and see us and let us know how things are. Congratulations, Brazos Port College graduates. Congratulations. Hey, you guys did a great job. I am, I am proud of you. I'm impressed with you. Honestly, those of you that had me in a class and that had to switch from in-person classroom work to online classroom work, I was super impressed with all the work you did. I was, I was impressed with your flexibility and your ability to learn. At, in a new venue and and uh, so I, I wish you all the best I really do and if you weren't in one of my classes I'm sure you did a fine job maybe you're in my class and you also did a fine job you, you, this was a very difficult semester we're proud of you congratulations congratulations have a good time <laughs> have have fun celebrating with your families I'm sorry we can't all get together but uh, but you know we're thinking about you okay mm -hmm. bye y'all bye Congratulations from Dr. April and the entire Writing Center team. And a special shout out to Kirksey, Kayla, and Carolina. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, Stephanie, we're proud of you. We love you, keep up the good work. Yay! Yay! Congratulations and best wishes to all BC graduates. But I'd like to send a special shout out to the members of the Psi Psi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Congratulations, y'all. You did it. On behalf of everyone in the Bachelor of Applied Technology program, I want to congratulate you on your graduation. I'd like to give a special shout out to our industrial management and health services management students who are earning a four-year degree from Brazosport College today. We are so proud of you for your diligence and persistence. We wish you all the best and please let us know if we can be of assistance to you as you continue to chart out your future. Hello, Brazosport College graduating class of 2020. 
I am Jennifer Monocle, and I am happy to serve on your uh, Brazosport College Board of Regents. And I'm just coming to you today to congratulate you for all of the hard work you've put in to finish the semester strong and to complete your college experience here. Um, it's tough on any given day to complete a college course and graduate, um, but with the challenges that you've had for these last few months, I can't even imagine what it's like to be in your shoes. So I'm really, really proud of you for persevering and enduring through this time and getting to today to graduate. You know, the class of 2020 will be written in the history books like no other graduating class before its time. And so let me encourage you by just saying this, don't let this class be defined by what the pandemic has done to you. Go forward and show your family, your community and the world what you can make of the opportunities that now lie before you. Keep learning, keep stretching, keep growing, and keep challenging yourself to do hard things because it's always worth it. Congratulations, Brazosport College Class of 2020. Welcome to the proud family of BC alumni. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ron Barksdale. I'm a regent on Brazosport College Board. Uh, representing position number six. So first of all, to all you graduates, congratulations. I know how much hard work and effort it took to get there and especially over these these last three months, uh, a lot of uncertainty out there. And so, uh, you know, congrats for sticking with it and, and getting it through this uh, really unstable time, let's say. I uh, hate that I can't be there with you guys. I just sat through my own senior daughters uh, at, at LSU for college graduation virtually. And uh, so for all you parents, I, it's definitely I'd much rather we'd all rather be doing this in person, but uh, this will have to do for the time being. Uh, for you graduates, I'll give you guys the same advice I gave my my daughter, which is don't get discouraged. You know your opportunity is out there; it's right around the corner. Um, you know it just may take a little longer to get there, but uh, don't get discouraged. You know keep keep after it, and uh, you know good things will happen. So with that, uh, I'm going to sign off, and best of luck to to you and your family in the future. Thanks. Hello, my name is Roland Hendricks and I serve on the Board of Regents at Bradsport College. I want to personally give you my congratulations uh, for your upcoming graduation. You guys had some challenging times during the spring semester uh, because of COVID-19, but you guys persevered and you finished that challenge. Many companies are looking for people that can uh, have personal uh, challenges, but they know how to overcome them. You overcame these challenges, you're a critical thinker, you're problem solving, and also you know how to adjust. Thank you for adjusting because that's one characteristic many companies are looking for. Again, congratulations, and I hope you have a great success for the future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jason Cordova, and I'm on the Board of Regents at Bradsport College. I want to take a moment and wish congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2020. You should be very proud of your achievement because you got to this place with a tremendous amount of hard work, perseverance, and determination. But please remember, your journey is not over. It is just beginning. But because of what you have accomplished at Bradsport College, you will have doors open and opportunities given to you that you otherwise would not have received. I also want to encourage you to remember the people that helped get you to this place. For a lot of you, you are here today because of the love and support of your family, friends, professors, counselors, or pastors. Remember those people and go thank them and tell them how impactful that they have been to you and in your life. And then go do it for somebody else. So again, on behalf of the Board of Regents, I wanna wish you a big congratulations and job well done. We're happy for you and cannot wait to see what you are going to do next. So good luck as your journey continues and God bless. Good morning, graduating class of 2020. My name is Carolyn Johnson. I am the chair of Brazosport College Board of Regents. I am so happy to be part of your celebration today. I am pleased and proud to wish you congratulations on achieving this significant milestone in your life. You made it. You worked hard to achieve this milestone, but it is not the end, but the beginning of a wonderful life. I wish each of you success in your future endeavors. Again, congratulations. Be happy, stay well, and stay Brothers Port College strong.
they see the letters that come in the mail, uh, you know, inducted into Phi Theta Kappa, uh, you receive this many scholarships, and they say, oh, you're making good grades, Dad? I said, yeah, look. I said, you know how hard it is to work and have a 4.0 GPA? I said, not a lot of people can do that. I said, but it all depends on if you want it. If you want it, you gotta go get it. Congratulations, y'all, y'all. Congratulations. We love you. We're so proud of you. Yay! Congratulations, Nurse Lacey Linscombe. We're so proud, honey. We're so proud of you. I know your dad's not here, but he's watching. He's looking. He is singing. We couldn't be more happy for your accomplishments. Go out and conquer the world, baby girl. We love you. On behalf of the Bats of Applied Technology Program, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Much good luck to you and come back and see us and let us know how things are. Congratulations, Brazos Port College graduates. Congratulations. Hey, you guys did a great job. I am I am proud of you. I'm impressed with you. Honestly, those of you that had me in a class and that had to switch from in-person classroom work to online classroom work, I was super impressed with all the work you did. I was I was impressed with your flexibility and your ability to learn. And, and a new venue, and and uh, so I, I wish you all the best. I really do. And if you weren't in one of my classes, I'm sure you did a fine job. Too. Maybe you're in my class and you also did a fine job. You, you, this was a very difficult semester. We're proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have a good time. <laughs> have have fun celebrating with your families. I'm sorry we can't all get together, but uh, but you know we're thinking about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all. Bye. Congratulations from Dr. April and the entire Writing Center team. And a special shout out to Kirksey, Kayla, and Carolina. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, Stephanie, we're proud of you. We love you, keep up the good work. Yay! 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 Congratulations and best wishes to all BC graduates. But I'd like to send a special shout out to the members of the Psi Psi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Congratulations, y'all. You did it. On behalf of everyone in the Bachelor of Applied Technology program, I want to congratulate you on your graduation. I'd like to give a special shout out to our industrial management and health services management students who are earning a four-year degree from Brazosport College today. We are so proud of you for your diligence and persistence. We wish you all the best and please let us know if we can be of assistance to you as you continue to chart out your future. Hello, Brazosport College graduating class of 2020. 
I am Jennifer Monocle, and I am happy to serve on your uh, Brazosport College Board of Regents. And I'm just coming to you today to congratulate you for all of the hard work you've put in to finish the semester strong and to complete your college experience here. Um, it's tough on any given day to complete a college course and graduate, um, but with the challenges that you've had for these last few months, I can't even imagine what it's like to be in your shoes. So I'm really, really proud of you for persevering and enduring through this time and getting to today to graduate. You know, the class of 2020 will be written in the history books like no other graduating class before its time. And so let me encourage you by just saying this. Don't let this class be defined by what the pandemic has done to you. Go forward and show your family, your community, and the world what you can make of the opportunities that now lie before you. Keep learning, keep stretching, keep growing, and keep challenging yourself to do hard things because it's always worth it. Congratulations, Brazosport College Class of 2020. Welcome to the proud family of BC alumni. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ron Barksdale. I'm a regent on Brazosport College Board. Uh, representing position number six. So first of all, to all you graduates, congratulations. I know how much hard work and effort it took to get there and especially over these these last three months, uh, a lot of uncertainty out there. And so, uh, you know, congrats for sticking with it and, and getting it through this uh, really unstable time, let's say. I uh, hate that I can't be there with you guys. I just sat through my own senior daughters uh, at, at LSU, her college graduation virtually. And uh, so for all you parents, I, it's definitely I'd much rather we'd all rather be doing this in person, but uh, this will have to do for the time being. Uh, for you graduates, I'll give you guys the same advice I gave my my daughter, which is don't get discouraged. You know your opportunity is out there; it's right around the corner. Um, you know it, it just may take a little longer to get there, but uh, don't get discouraged. You know keep keep after it, and uh, you know good things will happen. So with that, uh, I'm going to sign off, and best of luck to, to you and your family in the future. Thanks. Hello, my name is Roland Hendricks and I serve on the Board of Regents at Bradsport College. I want to personally give you my congratulations uh, for your upcoming graduation. You guys had some challenging times during the spring semester uh, because of COVID-19, but you guys persevered and you finished that challenge. Many companies are looking for people that can uh, have personal uh, challenges, but they know how to overcome them. You overcame these challenges, you're a critical thinker, you're problem solving, and also you know how to adjust. Thank you for adjusting because that's one characteristic many companies are looking for. Again, congratulations, and I hope you have a great success for the future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jason Cordova, and I'm on the Board of Regents at Bradsport College. I wanna take a moment and wish congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2020. You should be very proud of your achievement because you got to this place with a tremendous amount of hard work, perseverance, and determination. But please remember, your journey is not over, it is just beginning. But because of what you have accomplished at Bradsport College, you will have doors open and opportunities given to you that you otherwise would not have received. I also want to encourage you to remember the people that helped get you to this place. For a lot of you, you are here today because of the love and support of your family, your friends, professors, counselors, or pastors. Remember those people and go thank them and tell them how impactful that they have been to you and in your life. And then go do it for somebody else. So again, on behalf of the Board of Regents, I wanna wish you a big congratulations and job well done. We're happy for you and cannot wait to see what you are going to do next. So good luck as your journey continues and God bless. Good morning, graduating class of 2020. My name is Carolyn Johnson. I am the chair of Brazosport College Board of Regents. I am so happy to be part of your celebration today. I am pleased and proud to wish you congratulations on achieving this significant milestone in your life. You made it. You worked hard to achieve this milestone, but it is not the end but the beginning of a wonderful life. I wish each of you success in your future endeavors. Again, congratulations. Be happy, stay well, and stay Brothers Port College strong.
they see the letters that come in the mail, uh, you know, inducted into Phi Theta Kappa, uh, you receive this many scholarships, and they say, oh, you're making good grades, Dad? I said, yeah, look. I said, you know how hard it is to work and have a 4.0 GPA? I said, not a lot of people can do that. I said, but it all depends on if you want it. If you want it, you gotta go get it. Congratulations, y'all, y'all. Congratulations. We love you. We're so proud of you. Yay! Congratulations, Nurse Lacey Linscombe. We're so proud, honey. We're so proud of you. I know your dad's not here, but he's watching. He's looking. He is singing. He couldn't be more happy for your accomplishments. Go out and conquer the world, baby girl. We love you. On behalf of the Bachelor of Applied Technology program, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Much good luck to you and come back and see us and let us know how things are. Congratulations, Brazosport College graduates. Congratulations. Hey, you guys did a great job. I am, I am proud of you. I'm impressed with you. Honestly, those of you that had me in a class and that had to switch from in-person classroom work to online classroom work, I was super impressed with all the work you did. I was, I was impressed with your flexibility and your ability to learn. And, and a new venue, and and uh, so I, I wish you all the best, I really do. And if you weren't in one of my classes, I'm sure you did a fine job. Too. Maybe you're in my class and you also did a fine job. You, you, this was a very difficult semester. We're proud of you, congratulations. Congratulations, have a good time. <laughs> have have fun celebrating with your families. I'm sorry we can't all get together, but, uh, but you know, we're thinking about you, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye y'all. Bye. Congratulations from Dr. April and the entire Writing Center team. And a special shout out to Kirksey, Kayla, and Carolina. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, Stephanie, we're proud of you. We love you, keep up the good work. Yay! Yay! Congratulations and best wishes to all BC graduates. But I'd like to send a special shout out to the members of the Psi Psi chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Congratulations, y'all. You did it. On behalf of everyone in the Bachelor of Applied Technology program, I want to congratulate you on your graduation. I'd like to give a special shout out to our industrial management and health services management students who are earning a four-year degree from Brazosport College today. We are so proud of you for your diligence and persistence. We wish you all the best and please let us know if we can be of assistance to you as you continue to chart out your future. Hello, Brazosport College graduating class of 2020. 
I am Jennifer Monocle, and I am happy to serve on your uh, Brazosport College Board of Regents. And I'm just coming to you today to congratulate you for all of the hard work you've put in to finish the semester strong and to complete your college experience here. Um, it's tough on any given day to complete a college course and graduate, um, but with the challenges that you've had for these last few months, I can't even imagine what it's like to be in your shoes. So I'm really, really proud of you for persevering and enduring through this time and getting to today to graduate. You know, the class of 2020 will be written in the history books like no other graduating class before its time. And so let me encourage you by just saying this, don't let this class be defined by what the pandemic has done to you. Go forward and show your family, your community and the world what you can make of the opportunities that now lie before you. Keep learning, keep stretching, keep growing, and keep challenging yourself to do hard things because it's always worth it. Congratulations, Brazosport College Class of 2020. Welcome to the proud family of BC alumni. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ron Barksdale. I'm a regent on Brazosport College Board. Uh, representing position number six. So first of all, to all you graduates, congratulations. I know how much hard work and effort it took to get there and especially over these these last three months, uh, a lot of uncertainty out there. And so, uh, you know, congrats for sticking with it and, and getting it through this uh, really unstable time, let's say. I uh, hate that I can't be there with you guys. I just sat through my own senior daughters uh, at, at LSU, her college graduation virtually. And uh, so for all you parents, I, it's definitely a much rather we'd all rather be doing this in person, but uh, this will have to do for the time being. Uh, for you graduates, I'll give you guys the same advice I gave my, my daughter, which is don't get discouraged. You know, your opportunity is out there. It's right around the corner. Um, you know, it just may take a little longer to get there, but uh, don't get discouraged. You know, keep, keep after it and, uh, you know, good things will happen. So with that, uh, I'm going to sign off and best of luck to, to you and your family in the future. Thanks. Hello, my name is Roland Hendricks and I serve on the Board of Regents at Bradsport College. I want to approach to give you my congratulations uh, for your upcoming graduation. You guys had some challenging times during the spring semester uh, because of COVID-19, but you guys persevered and you finished that challenge. Many companies are looking for people that can uh, have personal uh, challenges, but they know how to overcome them. You overcame these challenges, you're a critical thinker, you're problem solving, and also you know how to adjust. Thank you for adjusting because that's one characteristic many companies are looking for. Again, congratulations, and I hope you have a great success for the future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jason Cordova, and I'm on the Board of Regents at Bradsport College. I want to take a moment and wish congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2020. You should be very proud of your achievement because you got to this place with a tremendous amount of hard work, perseverance, and determination. But please remember, your journey is not over. It is just beginning. But because of what you have accomplished at Bradsport College, you will have doors open and opportunities given to you that you otherwise would not have received. I also want to encourage you to remember the people that helped get you to this place. For a lot of you, you are here today because of the love and support of your family, friends, professors, counselors, or pastors. Remember those people and go thank them and tell them how impactful that they have been to you and in your life. And then go do it for somebody else. So again, on behalf of the Board of Regents, I want to wish you a big congratulations and job well done. We're happy for you and cannot wait to see what you are going to do next. So good luck as your journey continues and God bless. Good morning, graduating class of 2020. My name is Carolyn Johnson. I am the chair of Brazosport College Board of Regents. I am so happy to be part of your celebration today. I am pleased and proud to wish you congratulations on achieving this significant milestone in your life. You made it. You worked hard to achieve this milestone, but it is not the end, but the beginning of a wonderful life. I wish each of you success in your future endeavors. Again, congratulations. Be happy, stay well, and stay Brothers Port College strong.
I bet many of you, as you woke up this morning, were thinking about to the first day you started classes at Brazosport College, whether it was as a dual credit student or after you had completed high school. Whatever you're beginning, today marks the culmination of the end to your perseverance through your degree program, quite an accomplishment. I want you to know that I am so very proud of you, and I know your family and friends are as well. And I know the faculty and staff join me in cheering you on. As the president of Brazosport College, it is my great pleasure to say congratulations to the class of 2020. And now, let the show begin. Good morning. I'm Marshall Campbell, Vice President of Human Resources at Brazosport College. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our 2020 commencement ceremony. Today's virtual commencement activities serve as the culmination of a successful path of study and persistence for our graduates and their families and friends. At this time, will you please rise for the invocation given by Roland Hendricks, Brazosport College Board of Regent and pastor of Greater Mount Zion Church in Brazoria. After the invocation, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to be led by David Marshall, Vice President of Business Services and CFO. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day because this is a day you have made and we rejoice in this day. Lord, we thank you for another academic year here at Brazilport College. We thank you for the Board of Regents. We thank you for Dr. Ballant and her executive team, the professors, instructors, counselors, and every employee here at Brazilport College. We thank you for the role they have played to make Brazilport College the college of choice. Lord, we come to you with a thankful heart as we celebrate the graduation of the students of Brazilport College. Lord, we know the many sacrifices that have been made to complete this milestone. Some students are full-time, which allowed them to complete this journey in two years, while other students are part-time and successfully completed this journey in more than two years while working and taking care of their family. Lord, we thank you that you were here in helping these students as they adapt to online learning because of COVID-19. However, they conquered this storm with great success. Thank you for being with them during these challenging days. Lord, we ask you to be with them as they write the next chapter of their lives. We ask that you continue to give them wisdom and understanding as some continue their education at a university, while others will go into the workforce, helping some company or organization to solve problems as they make this world, the nation, the state, and our community better. Lord, we ask for your steadfast blessings on their lives. Be with them and protect them in all that they do as they make a positive impact in this world. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, my name is Tracy Watts and I am the Vice President of College Advancement at Brazosport College. I want to add my personal congratulations to all of our graduates this morning. On behalf of the Brazosport College Board of Regents, faculty and staff members, I can say without a doubt, we are so very proud of you and your accomplishments. It is my privilege this morning to introduce the Brazosport College Board of Regents and College Administration. I would like to begin with the Brazosport College Board of Regents. Mrs. Carolyn Johnson, Chair of the Board of Regents. Mr. Robert Perryman, Vice Chair of the Board of Regents. Mr. Jason Cordoba. Mrs. Jennifer Monocle. Mr. Roland Hendricks. Mr. Jay Gibson. Mr. Steve Solis, Mr. Ronald Barksdale, Mr. Danny Yates, and now the Brazosport College Administration, Dr. Millicent Valick, President, Mrs. Ann Bartlett, Vice President, Industry and Community Resources, Mr. Marshall Campbell, Vice President, Human Resources, 
Dr. Shelley DeVinney, Vice President, Academic and Student Affairs. Mr. David Marshall, Vice President, Business Services and CFO. Dr. Douglas Walzers, Interim Vice President, Academic and Student Affairs and Dean, Planning Institutional Effectiveness and Research. At this time, Dr. Douglas Walzers will introduce the 2020 Teaching Excellence Award recipient. It is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2020 Teaching Excellence Award, which celebrates outstanding contributions and leadership by community college staff and faculty. The 2020 Teaching Excellence Award recipient is Brazosport College faculty member David Sisma. Mr. Sisma is holding the commencement mace, which was dedicated in 2019 in honor of Brazosport College's 50th anniversary. The mace symbolizes an institution's commitment to excellence with a nod toward tradition and dignity. The mace is traditionally carried by a senior faculty member or a faculty member receiving a special honor. At this time, Ann Bartlett, Vice President, Industry and Community Resources, has the honor of introducing today's commencement speaker. It is my privilege to introduce our 2020 commencement speaker, Mr. Chris Witte. Chris is the Senior Vice President of the BASF site in Freeport, Texas. He earned a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering and an MBA from Louisiana State University. Chris joined BASF in 1987 in the Engineering Professional Development Program. Since then, he has held numerous leadership positions, including Unit Superintendent, Operations Manager, and Vice President of North American Chemical Intermediates. He also served as the Special Project Lead on a delegation to Germany. Chris then became Vice President of BASF's JV Port Arthur, Texas site. As Senior Vice President, Chris is currently responsible for the BASF site in Freeport, Texas, one of the corporation's largest North American manufacturing locations. In this role, Chris oversees the daily operations of 26 plants that manufacture 25 different products. Additionally, Chris leads BASF's Smart Manufacturing 4.0 activities in North America. Chris is also the executive sponsor for BASF's North American Veterans Employee Group. Chris serves as the chair of the Texas Chemical Council's Executive Board, Aspen Tech Executive Advisory Board, Executive Board Member of the Brazoria County Petrochemical Council. Chris is also a member of the Brazoria County Economic Development Alliance Executive Board and is a board member for the Brazosport College Foundation. Chris and his wife, Susan, have been married for 28 years and have four children, all of whom attended community college. When he's not working or enjoying time with his precious family, which includes some fur babies as well, he likes spending time at the deer lease, fishing and boating, and appreciating all genres of music, especially if it's live music. Please welcome to the podium, Mr. Chris Whitty. Good morning. Yes, life does change. Thomas Rhett had no idea when he released that song in 2017 how much life would change for all of us in 2020. But change it has, and here you are, about to proceed through one of life's most significant changing events. In just a few minutes, you'll be college graduates. For each of you, it will mean something different. Some of you are earning your associate's degree while planning to continue your education and pursue your bachelor's degree. Others are completing your nursing education and entering the healthcare field such an important field for all of us these days. Still others are earning your associates in environmental health and safety and going to work in the chemical manufacturing industry. And there are some, usually the more senior students among you, who are finishing what you started years ago and now want to see your goals fulfilled. No matter your story, today you are all about to be college graduates and that is just a major change from just yesterday. But one thing I can promise you all, no matter your age, no matter your degree, no matter your next steps in life, I promise you life will continue to change. And that is what brings both challenges and opportunities for us all. Seeking and embracing change, catalyzing those around you to make the world a better place 
is what will continue to bring opportunity and purpose in life. While it wasn't just yesterday, I can still remember sitting where you are. In fact, I can remember what changes occurred in my life that preceded my college career. I was born outside Chicago, Illinois, to a large Catholic family. My mom taught French and English at the local Catholic school, and for 40 years, my father taught electrical technology at the local community college. My twin brother and I were born fifth and sixth of what would be eventually a family of seven children. So when my identical twin Dave and I were born, my parents had six kids under six years of age. Life definitely changed for them. With literally a full house, my dad often took my twin brother and me with him when he taught night classes at the local community college. By the time we finished kindergarten, with all the educational influences around us, we were approved to skip first grade and go straight to second grade, which meant we graduated at 17, a year earlier than most. The other thing that happened about that same time was my parents were divorced. Life changes, and sometimes it's not what you planned. So my brother Dave and I went to work. We went to the community college. We couldn't afford to go off, so we took a year to save money and prepare for what our new normal would look like. I worked a couple of jobs while attending community college, and I could not have done it without the support of the community college and the teachers there. The instructors, just like I have witnessed here at Brazosport College, cared about me, knew my situation, and helped me to learn in many ways. They knew me, and they knew what my goals were. I wanted to get a chemical engineering degree, and then my master's. The beauty of colleges like Brazosport is they enable all of us to build a rock-solid foundation that we can build a skyscraper on. With their help, I transferred to LSU, mainly for its chemical engineering program, and because of Louisiana's residency requirements, gave me the opportunity to continue my education at a reasonable cost, best of all, without snow. After graduating with my chemical engineering degree and while working at BSF and with their financial help, I earned my master's at night. And today, with that community college educational foundation, I have the privilege of leading thousands of folks at one of BASF's premier multi-billion dollar manufacturing sites, made possible by my hard work and my community college foundation. And for you, anything is possible as well. But back to you and what got you here today. I talked about preparing for a year before we spread our wings from Illinois to Louisiana. What did you do to prepare for today? Maybe you've been a full-time student since high school, and today marks the culmination of that journey. Maybe you had to start and stop, and now you're fulfilling something you've always dreamed of. Maybe you worked for five years or even more to get your associates because you were working full-time or you were raising a family full-time. No doubt the one thing you all have in common today is the commitment it took to get here. You studied, you worked hard, and you focused on reaching the pinnacle in your life, becoming a college graduate. And that takes commitment. Commitment to continue your education no matter what changes life threw at you. Losing one job only to have to find another. Having another child in the midst of pursuing your degree. Losing a grandparent right before final exam. Or having a worldwide pandemic just as you were fulfilling your commitment and about to go on to the next phase of your life. But life does change. And sometimes those changes are within your control. In other words, you made the change. But oftentimes it is not. Sometimes you are forced to do things that you never thought of just because you have to get by or simply survive. Staying six feet apart, wearing masks when not six feet apart, missing seeing your grandparents, not attending a mass college graduation ceremony in all your regalia. Even though right now these changes can be challenging and for some very scary, the fact is there are always silver linings between the darkest of clouds. You may just have to look a little harder or wait a little longer. Right now, for the last couple of months, we've all been learning how to adapt and overcome obstacles. But really, you've been doing that your whole life, adapting and overcoming. And most likely, you were doing that in double time while earning your degree, long before COVID-19. But I'm guessing that if I had the opportunity to ask each of you to raise your hand to the following questions, by the time I finished, almost every, if not every hand in the room would be raised. Has someone ever helped you study? Has someone ever given you guidance about your scholastic path? Has someone shared career advice with you? Has someone babysat while you studied or attended classes? Has someone ever filled in for you at work while you attended class? Has someone loaned you money when you were in a bind? Has someone ever praised you for how well you were doing in your educational pursuits? By now, if you were in this room with me, 
I am confident that each of us could raise our hand at least to one of those questions, if not all. And all those someones are part of your community. As well as others, you may or may not know that much about BSF, my company, but we are part of your community, part of your community college. We believe in your future and the future of others like you who are willing to sacrifice and work hard for their education. We believe so much in our community college that we have invested in it for more than 50 years. That investment was highlighted when we donated $1 million to the BASF Center for Process Technology in 2008, when we donated another $250,000 to funding scholarships, when we donated another $125,000 to help the welding center at the Crafts Academy, and most recently when we announced another $1 million investment to further improve the BASF Center for Process Technology in the area of automation and digitalization. BASF is over 150 years old and founded in Germany in 1865 when we learned how to transform coal tar into dyes for fabrics. If any of you are wearing blue jeans right now, the dye in your jeans called Indigo Blue is most likely from BASF. The blue ink on the Miller Light Bear cans, which you may or may not be consuming right now, hey, they were virtual, that blue is produced almost entirely by BASF. But to last 150 years, you must change and grow. Our products have exponentially grown over the years from fabric, fabric and textiles to include raw materials for life-saving items such as face masks, respirator tubes, ibuprofen, hand sanitizer, disposable baby diapers. For all of you that who have had or have had children, baby diapers are a lifesaver. I know I have four kids. Our products are also in cars and trucks, making them energy efficient in carpets to help them make them stain resistant and more durable in food packaging to be able to ship it and store it in for longer, in paints, solvents, coatings, caulking, and so much more. And as we've grown our products and our manufacturing sites over the years, we've also grown in our wisdom. We know that we, what we didn't know over 150 years ago, we came, became more knowledgeable about how to produce our products more safely and in a more environmentally sound manner. BASF actually reduces our overall carbon footprint by the products we make and by the way we produce them. But BASF did not do all of these things without continuing to learn and adapt and overcome. We did not do this alone. Of course we didn't. And we won't in the future without a constant supply of talented, trained people to bring new ideas and new ways to innovate to solve society's needs. We need colleges like Brazosport to help educate and develop inquisitive minds. And while, as a plant manager, it feels great to give to the community. I also recognize it is a necessity for our community family to grow and to thrive. At every stage in life, in business, you have a community that surrounds you, a community like ours that believes in supporting one another, a team that will pull together to get through the tough times, a community that knows that learning, adapting, and overcoming is much better, much stronger, when we work together and not in isolation. Strange words, perhaps, today, as many of us sit in isolation. We have each other. We have our communities around us. Maybe it's different than what we expected. No graduation ceremonies without virtual assistance. No shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder concerts. No banquets to attend. No birthday or anniversary parties to go to. And the list goes on. However, look what you did. Look what we did as a community, as a world. We use teleconferencing and WebEx or Zoom meetings to collaborate or conduct our, your study groups. We use the internet to bring live music into our homes to support good cause. We hosted drive-by birthday parties. We use FaceTime and Skype to talk to our loved ones and friends. All things that just a few months ago each of us had likely experienced, but not to the degree we are now. Which demonstrates how we were willing to learn and to change our habits, to adapt to changes and overcome. We've learned that there are ways to be close to people without being literally close to them. We've learned that as a nation, as a people, we are one big community whose main goal is to keep that community healthy and well. So we shouldn't take our community for granted, including your community college experience. Your time here will always be one you look back on and remember fondly. You'll forget the pains of cramming for an exam over time, and you hopefully remember it as I do. It was my chance to go to college, my chance to launch a career path, my chance to make a better life for myself. Now this is your chance. 
Someone once said in their commencement address, find something you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. While I get the sen sentiment, the fact is, rarely is every moment and every aspect of every job always fun. It's called work. You'll be paid to make a contribution to a larger good, to solve problems, to establish protocols and procedures, to work and to collaborate with others, to be a leader and to be accountable for your actions. And you're obviously familiar with the concept of working for what you want. You've worked hard to get here. Now you're on the precipice of your next step along the mountainside. And you've already proven that you can work hard and stick to a commitment to climb that mountain. And as life moves forward, so will you. You can't rest on your laurels and think, well, that's good, let's stop now. You can rest, we all need to rest to rejuvenate and retool, but you can't stop. And you won't. Your being here today, getting your degree from Brazosport College, shows you're not a quitter. You're a conqueror, you're a perseverer, unafraid of challenges and can rise to the occasion and make a difference. As you leave here today, you know, may not know what that difference is or can be. Maybe if you're going to be a nurse or a teacher, the connection between what you have been formally trained to do and how that makes a difference is more readily visible. For others, it may be a few steps removed but you can make a difference. For one young woman who learned about BASF and our dual credit program in process technology from a presentation at her high school, she received her degree here at Brazosport College and it allowed her to make a huge difference in her and her family's life. There was no one else in her family with a college degree, so she knew little about it except that it was expensive and her family was of meager means. So the opportunity to attend college for two years and be employable with little to no debt was like an unexpected gift to her. She's now been a BSF employee for seven years, and when she talks about her job, she talks about the satisfaction it brings and how it has allowed her to do things she never dreamed of. Go on vacation, buy a new car, purchase her first home, have great medical coverage, meet and greet new friends and more. Now she's reaching out to other young women who may have similar dreams and in the same position she once was in. In fact, her mother is a student at Brazosport College now pursuing her own degree. Why? She's seen what a difference her daughter's degree has made in her life and what a difference it was allowing her to make in others' lives. Now it's your turn. You've done it. With your community and community college right by your side throughout this journey, you are in charge of your destiny, even when life changes. You may not be able to change what happens to you, but you can change how you react to it. With the tools, the lessons learned, and the experiences you've had, you are equipped more than you know to take on the world. Or maybe just start with your own neighborhood. But you are well positioned for your future, whatever that future may hold for you. So as I close out, I'll simply close with heartfelt pride in being part of your accomplishment today, with sincere gratitude and humility for being asked to share our time together today, and with admiration for all that you've done and all that I know you will do as you embark on this next chapter. Thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you today. It truly has been an honor and a privilege. And I hope something I said today resonated with you is that when your life changes, and it will, you know you are ready, willing, and qualified to adapt and overcome. Thank you, stay well, embrace change, and with that change, capture the opportunity. Thank you for your words of wisdom and encouragement to our 2020 graduates and guests, as well as the reminder that no matter what changes, we will overcome. 
Graduates, I congratulate each one of you on your accomplishments, and I'm certain that as you move forward in your future endeavors, you will maintain the same standards of performance that have brought you here this morning. President Valak, on behalf of the faculty, I certify these candidates will have fulfilled the requirements of Brazosport College and the state of Texas for the designated baccalaureate degree and recommend the appropriate degree be conferred. By the authority granted by the Board of Regents of Brazosport College and the laws of the state of Texas, I hereby confer on each of you upon successful completion of all requirements the designated baccalaureate degree with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. We will now call the names of the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Brazosport College graduating class. Receiving the Bachelor's of Applied Technology in Industrial Management, Vice President's Scholar Ernesto Jesus Rialis, magna cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts, Vice President's Scholar, Lilia Estefania Barba. Vice President's Scholar, Gilbert Muahaki, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Science, Vice President's Scholar, Catherine Renee Frederick, summa cum laude. Vice President's Scholar, Aurora Bree Goodrum, summa cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Applied Technology, Health Services Management, Christy Kaiser, magna cum laude. Also receiving an Associate of Arts. Maria Soledad Hernandez, cum laude. Chelsea Nicole Ivan Leslie Lopez Jeremy Myers, magna cum laude Marisa Renee Nava, cum laude Also receiving an Associate of Applied Science in Nursing Emily Anel Peña Fallon Michelle Pennington Emily Rogers Chelsea Lynn Woodard Also receiving an Associate of Arts Receiving the Bachelor of Applied Technology in Industrial Management Leon Davis Barrett III, magna cum laude Megan Elizabeth Baxter Cum laude. Mary Catherine Betito, summa cum laude. Teresa Ann Broderick, cum laude. Tamara Jean Bunger, cum laude. Kenneth Wilson Byers, cum laude. George Emmanuel Colon. Christine Ann Cummings, summa cum laude. Mark Anthony Daniels, magna cum laude. Savannah Joy Davis. Donald Donham. Chase Dominique Douglas, magna cum laude. Angela Cheryl Elder, summa cum laude. Aaron Edwards Ennis, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Leonor Garza. Luisa Laura Garza. Teresa Spencer Gossett. Kobe Taylor Hastings, cum laude. Charles Watson Huron, cum laude. Heather Quinsbury Jacobs, also receiving an Associate of Applied Science. 
Jocelyn Johnson, cum laude. Bert Jones. Eduardo Juarez. Dylan Casper. Oscar Lopez, magna cum laude. Hilary Louvier. Ariel Lowry, magna cum laude. Rosa McDonnell Burns. Miranda Casey Marroquin. Michael Anthony McBroom, Sr., magna cum laude, also receiving an Associate of Applied Science. Juanita Deidre Merchant, summa cum laude. Dolores Alicia Milan. Edward Ryan Murray, summa cum laude, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Oricela Bas. Omar Perez. Emily Radford. Thomas A. Rand Jr. Brittany Richardson. John Allen Riley Jr. Summa cum laude. Teresa Rios. Rosa Elena Rojas. Lucia Salazar. Donette Joanne Truel, magna cum laude. Albert Smith. Clarissa Ann Solis. Olivia Diane Thornburg, magna cum laude. Praxidus Villanueva, Jr. Anna East, Washington. Megan Wright. President Valak, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates will have fulfilled the requirements of Brazosport College and the State of Texas for the designated associate's degree and recommend that the appropriate degree be conferred. By the authority granted by the Board of Regents of Brazosport College and the laws of the State of Texas, I hereby confer on each of you, upon successful completion of all requirements, the designated associate degree with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. We will now call the names for the candidates for the associate degree. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Teaching, Omari Armstrong also receiving an Associate of Arts. Caitlin Suzanne Chauncey, cum laude. Crystal Whitney Davis. Selena Alexis De Leon. Jessica Renee Ichesarreta, summa cum laude, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Caitlin Fernandez, Cum laude. Ophelia Kelly Figueroa, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Emily Oralia Forrester. Caitlin Elizabeth Freshour, Cum laude. Stephanie Evelyn Garcia, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Kayla Murray Henderson also receiving an Associate of Arts. Krista Suzette Johnson, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Jacqueline Martinez. Caitlin Sky Michael, magna cum laude. Jessica Vaughn Neal, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Dorvon Steamer, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Luisa Esmeralda Perez Toledano. Micaela Ann Reynolds, 
also receiving an Associate of Arts. Hope Michelle Smith. Destiny Ray Turner. Leslie Nicole Villegas. Justine Cepeda, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Receiving the Associate of Arts, Gabriela Aguilar, cum laude. Noraldine Ashraf Ali. Crystal Alvarez. Haley Grace Amons. Jasmine Justine Baldera. Patricia Ilona Mays Balestrine. Leticia Ann Bell. Kirksey Sage Berg. Veronica Beverly. Taylor Elizabeth Biggs. Rachel Michelle Bingham. Derek Wayne Bach, cum laude. Alexa Jean Bolton. Joshua Aaron Broussard. Aviana Sacedo. Alyssa Lauren Calzada. Brandy Savannah Campbell, cum laude. Kylie Nicole Kennedy. Jonathan Cardenas. Ana Maria Castillo, cum laude. Jocelyn Lucila Castillo. Christina Edith Castro. Elizabeth Danielle Catney. Trenton Jeffrey Michael Coburn. Christopher Adam Corona. Graciela Yvette Coronado Dobson. Deanna Christine Cruz. Virginia Diane Curl, cum laude. Jackie Dent. Zarie Ravon Dodds. Celia Lenita Escobar. Melanie Escobedo. Sarah Catherine Escobedo. Alexandra Grace Eyestone. Ryan James Fasnage. Ashley Annette Flores. Jaylynn Rochelle Ford. Ashlyn McKay Franks. Kate Funes. Katia Funes, magna cum laude. Christian Michael Gadbois. Miela Garcia. Giselle Garcia Hernandez. Melissa Yvette Gaitan. Joanna Marie Gessler. Barbara Elizabeth Rose Giles, magna cum laude. Stephen Alexander Gonzalez. Leslie Gonzalez. Chelsea Renee Gromaski, magna cum laude. Natalie Nicole Gale, cum laude. Miguel Angel Gutierrez. Lineland B. Hall, magna cum laude. Nicole 
Jill Hardesty, summa cum laude. Arden R. Parkreader. Joel Hernandez. Rebecca Nicole Hill. Emily Denise Hollowine. William Patrick Howell. Megan Renee Hubbard. Madison Faye Huffman. Carter Neil Hutchison. Bright Ihezwe Jr. Angel Don Jaime. Celeste Monique Johnson. Lillian Savannah Simone Johnson. Rachel Yvette Jones. James J. K. Kaylee Rose Lacazzi. Kenzie Landers. Melissa Yvonne Landers. Ellie Laughlin, cum laude. Kyle Jordan Long, magna cum laude. Ashton Deshaun Lundy. Cedric Emmanuel Mack. Hannah Kate Mahirin. Alejandro Martinez, summa cum laude. Priselda Yvette Martinez. Kaylee Leanne Massingill, cum laude. Aiden Lee Mariak. Emily Catherine Matsky. Christy Michelle Mayfield, magna cum laude. Matthew McClure. Bobby Page McDonald. Irene Denise McDonald. Victoria Ruth McElroy. Keith James McFerrin. Henry Covarrubias Mendes. Macy K. Miller, cum laude. Olivia Jordana Morales. Kimberly Coral Nava, summa cum laude. Melanie Brooke Niemeyer, summa cum laude. Brittany Nicole Norris. Zulema Nunez. Raven Raquel Ortiz. Brittany Lee Penaigua, cum laude. Madison Arlene Pate. Taryn Kaylee Hawk. Corey Mitchell Benya. Jessica Benya, cum laude. Sydney Sean Benya. Yvette Pettis. Kyrell Damon Peterson. Cum laude. Matthew David Phillips. Summa cum laude. Annalisa Ramos. Kristen Lynn Reeves. Belen Reyes. Reagan R. Ricky. Isabella Corina Rico. Chelsea John Ridden. Angela Rios. Cassandra Rios, cum laude. Sarah Samantha Rivera. 
Brittany Rochelle Rodriguez. Alina Guadalupe Ruiz Campos. Jonathan Salazar. Jade Elisa Sanchez. Marlene Santa Cruz, cum laude. Stephen Frederick Sealis, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Ashley Shell, magna cum laude. Gina Small. Syra Christine Smith. Casey Ray Stewart. Toraya Strambler. James Sumter. Dana Lynn Sweet. Rachel Loren Thacker. Karis Terrio, summa cum laude. Shatara Thomas. Jewel Amber Tonry. Sydney Page Valdepena. Morgan Page Van Norman. Victor Ray Vega, cum laude. Elizabeth Villa. Anthony Villarreal. April Nicole Warmack. Jenny Leanne Webster, cum laude. Dulce Waite. Angela Williams. Michaela Williams. Sandra Lorraine Williams. Earl Lewis Willis. Mia Lynn Wilson. Maxwell Winters. Andrea Marie Womble, summa cum laude. Alexis Mireya Woods. Rebecca Sue Wright, cum laude. Kimberly Eileen Yellen. Vanessa Silva Zapata. Emily Victoria Zuniga, cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Science degree, Andrea Adame Flores. Abigail Isabel Alejandres. Cassandra Alejos, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Edward Alstott. Natalie Alvarez. Tracy Lynn Autry, cum laude. Juan Carlos Baeza. Mackenzie Nicole Barron, cum laude. Jonathan Tyrell Battle Jr., magna cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Beatty. Taylor Lynn Beal, summa cum laude. Abigail Suzanne Bettner. Chelsea K. Blake. Savannah Joe Bowley. Paige Marie Barrow, magna cum laude. Chelsea Nicole Boyd, summa cum laude. Elise Renee Boyd. Matthew Augustus Brown, summa cum laude. Madeline Marie Burton. Glendy Isabel Cabrera. Margarita Cabrera. Gabriela Yvette Camacho, cum laude. Veronica Camacho. Luke Campbell. 
Allison Nicole Candelaria. Rosa Maria Cardenas, cum laude. Jason Casbir, summa cum laude. Colin Craig Cashin. Lindsay Ray Chansey. Kaylee Chastain, magna cum laude. Fernando Guadalupe Chavez Paz. Mackenzie Cisneros. Cheyenne Morgan Cole. Morgan Joyce Coates, cum laude. Kinsley Collins, cum laude. Sydney Colon, cum laude. Claudia Cordova. Leticia Ann Cuevas. Jason Ray Davis. Tatiana Anaí Diaz. Jeffrey Terrence Douthit. Ethan Wayne Ebner, summa cum laude. Jasmine Capri Edwards, cum laude. Cecilia Crystal Espinoza, summa cum laude. Sydney Marie Esquivel. Liliana Estrada Ocampo. Megan Grace Fastnage, summa cum laude. Eric Anthony Figueroa. Paige Foot. Gabrielle Marie Ford. Angela Marie Foster. Tamara Foster, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Marie Fournier. Marisol Gamboa Hernandez. Gloria Gamboa Ramirez, cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Garay. David Garcia Gonzalez. Kristen Nicole Garcia. Samantha Juliana Garcia, summa cum laude. Leslie Annette Garza. Patrice Gately. Montana Renee Gillum, cum laude. Kira Elise Gonzalez. Kristen Celeste Gonzalez. Christian Gonzalez. Roxana Ruby Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Emily Rose Goodrich, summa cum laude. Julissa Ruby Guajardo. Maribel Guevara. Tyler Hadley, cum laude. Vanessa Leanne Harrell. Valerie Nicole Harris, magna cum laude. Haley Nicole Helms, summa cum laude. Marissa Marie Hernandez, magna cum laude. Carla Teresa Hernandez Flores. Liana Renee Hickey. Sienna Marie Hinton. Ashley Marie Hunt. Barry L. Husband Jr. Ricky Iracheta Jr. Sabrina Milagros Jimenez, cum laude. Leisha Vanessa Jimenez Rodriguez. Cum laude. Keandre Jones. Ashley Elizabeth Keith. Annika Michelle Kent. Magna cum laude. Izu Kim. Magna cum laude. Tyler Ashton Krebs. Hannah Ray Krenick. Audrey May Lachance. 
Seth Aaron Lambert. Jamie Lamont. Corey Nathaniel Lancaster. Manibel Valdez Lazuna. Allison Marlene Largent, cum laude. Ashley Nicole Lashley. Itzayana Leja. Elena Lerma. Joshua Nelson Lerma. Misty Joe Lynette, cum laude. Alyssa Marie Lopez, cum laude. Yaresi Lucero, cum laude. Kayla Luera, magna cum laude. Ashley Dawn Lundy. Lily Marie Maldonado. Ashley Ryan Monasco, summa cum laude. Sarah Gail Manns. Amaya Marshall, cum laude. Ashley Dean Martinez. Isabella Anais Martinez, summa cum laude. Kelly Marie Martinez. Esmeralda Martinez. Jacob Colton McCune. Melanie Lizette Medrano, cum laude. Natalie Melanie Mejia, cum laude. Faith Bell Moy, cum laude. Jalen Lynette Milan. Julio Cesar Molina Jr. Alyssa Renee Moon. Jeremy David Moore, summa cum laude. Nathan Michael Morales. Ashley Marie Moreno. Kristen Faith Morris, Aaron Sean Mulholland, Eduardo Negrete, Sarah Lee Ann Nix, Cora Bell Owens, cum laude, Jasmine Devon Palos, Tiffany Renee Parker, magna cum laude, Yasmine Paz, Ethan Bettis, cum laude. Matthew Jeffrey Podogil. Petra Olivia Porras. Angelica Lucia Ramirez. Jose Nieves Ramirez, cum laude. Rebecca Ann Rayos. Courtney Don Reeves, Cum laude. Yvonne Michelle Resendiz. Sheena Nicole Romado. Summa cum laude. Alexander James Rivera. Betsabeth H. Robles. Sabrina Marie Rocha. Cum laude. Monica Yvette Rodriguez. Elena Victoria Reese. Jacqueline Reese. Ashlyn L. Sadler. Cum laude. Jacqueline Garcia Sainz. Susana Salazar, magna cum laude. Areli Sarabia, cum laude. Jason Matthew Schur, magna cum laude. Mallory Rose Schaefer. Jessica Ann Silva. Elijah Sebastian Suarez. Joanna Suniga, cum laude. Crystal Lachelle Swanson. Wade Lynn Teterka. Brant Thomas Taylor. Jose Royal Trevino Jr., summa cum laude. Garrett Matthew Uri, cum laude. Simon Uri. 
Alfred Vincent Virgil de Dios, cum laude. Joe Albert Villarreal Jr. Tyler Morgan Von Minden, magna cum laude. Jody K. Waits, magna cum laude. Kelton Zakeith Walker. Douglas Lynn Washington Jr. Avery Renee Watkins, cum laude. Rachel Jade Willard. Carly Michelle Williams, cum laude. Stacy Ann May Williams. Marisha Chanel Woodard. Sean Christopher Ledesma Yu. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Chemical Technology. Adrian Acosta. Miguel Aguilera. Justin Ross Arambidi. Katie Brian Bagwell. Justin Anthony Barkak. Summa cum laude. Nayeli Barrientos Garcia. Ricardo Daniel Barrios. Joey Adam Benj. Bruce Eli Sebastian Black. Dylan Lane Blackwell, cum laude. Tony Lee Boggs. Roland Bosquez III. Jacqueline Brady. Jose Juan Cantu. Pedro Jr. Carizales. Javier Andres Castillo. Dakota Eric Chupp, also receiving an Associate of Science. Zachary Edward Coleman. Edgar Cruz. Kaylee Ann Davlin. George Trevor Davlin, cum laude. Alyssa Brooke DeFore. Jeremy Robin Dennington. Stephen Mitchell Denton, magna cum laude. Trent Devin Dodge. Eric Ryan Donath, cum laude. Jocelyn Figueroa, magna cum laude. Justin Cody Fitzgerald. Lillian Marie Flores. Jonathan Cooper Foster. Michelle Garcia. Nicholas Andrew Garcia. Rajani Gregoria Greer. Ashley Karen Heckler. Matthew A. Hagen, magna cum laude. Shay Lindsay Hodges. Randy Michael Hassel. Wade Kelly Jones Jr. Angelina Wattis, also receiving an Associate of Applied Science. Peyton Tyler Judd. Miguel Angel Lerma. Lawrence Gabriel Lavario. Israel Jacob Lopez Jr. Jose Angel Lopez. Danielle Marie Mack. Joe Angel Martinez. Hunter Glenn Charles Mills. Justin Thomas Mize. Albert Moreno. Hector Moreno Jr. Cum laude. Marquise Germain Miles Sr. Noel Quinones Nieto. Chandria Marie Pierce. Richard Nathan Pyle. Eric Anthony Rodalic. Benjamin Ramirez. 
Albert Julian Ramos, also receiving an Associate of Arts. Jalisa Lashawn Rendon. Christy Ann Reese, cum laude. Stephen Anthony Reyes, cum laude. John Reina III, Juan Angel Rios. Luther John Rogers, cum laude. Veronica Sainz, Juan Daniel Sanchez Casique. Donna Lee Sawyer. Jonathan Segala. Travis Craig Simmons. Zachary Hunter Smith. Courtney Lynn Spaulding. Jonathan Stanzel. Eric Ray Staten, cum laude. Kevin Wayne Toomer, cum laude. Blas Torres Jr. Arturo Trevino. Clayton Shane Weber. Kenneth A. White, cum laude. Brady Michael Woods. Brandon Lee Zavala. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Computer Technology, Justice DeLangen, magna cum laude. Brian Cruz Figueroa IV. Adrienne Don Hannock, cum laude. Christina Ann Gomez. Angel Luis Higuerera, summa cum laude. Samantha Darlene Hawley. Emily Michelle White, magna cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice, Cynthia Garcia. Ashlaniqua Trishe Goins Cooper. Ryan Howell. Simone Nicole Newell, cum laude. Emilio Pena. Norma Munoz Smith. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Drafting Technology, Barbara Ann Earhart, magna cum laude. Ileana Marie Cárdenas, cum laude. James Ethan Oliver Cooper. Stephanie Renee Johnson. Abigail Santana, summa cum laude. Amanda Soto, cum laude. Jesse Valdez Jr. Terry Rosas Zuniga. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Emergency Medical Services, Charles Michael Cahoon. Rocio Oliden. Jamie Sikovi. Cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Heating, AC, and Refrigeration Technology, Austin Mackenzie Jennings. Cum laude. Jacob Thomas Linford, summa cum laude. Richard Dean Martinez, magna cum laude. Hector Rodriguez, cum laude. Kai Nicholas Williams, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Industrial and Commercial Construction, Elias Aguilera, Jr. Carolyn Ann Alvarado. Rosa Elia Alvarez. Oscar Arisiega Jr. Osvaldo Del Villar. Cum laude. Justin Travis Metcalf. Sebastian Perea. 
Jean Reichardt. Alberto Rene Sanchez, cum laude. Kent Michael Thornburg. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Industrial and Commercial Electricity, Spencer Douglas Alsobrook, summa cum laude. Donald A. Bills. John Paul Cardenas, magna cum laude. David Wayne Hasselhoff, Jr., magna cum laude. Fernando Montes de Oca, the second. Michael Phillips, summa cum laude. Todd Marshall Rodrigue, cum laude. Victor Saravia, the third. Robert Fraser Watson, cum laude. Michael L. Wetzel, cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Industrial and Commercial Pipe Fitting, Sam Bartlett, Luis E. Hernandez. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Instrumentation Technology, Ian Abney, summa cum laude. Israel Alvarez, James Anderson, Zachary Robert Arias, Osiel Ariciaga, Cruz Alejandro Arroyo, Nicholas Elliot Brown, Daniel Cantu, Tyler Wayne Carroll, Warren Glenn Choate, magna cum laude. David Raymond Colvin, summa cum laude. Bruce Elias Fernandez. Eric William Flowers, Jr. Josh John Fowler. Travis James Fuller, summa cum laude. Nathan Alexander Garcia Joshua Henry Garza Alfredo Guevara Jr. also receiving an Associate of Applied Science Robert Earl Harris Jr. cum laude Samuel David Hawkins Daniel Robert Huffman Don Marie Jones cum laude Brett Kennedy Dario Leal, cum laude Jonathan Richard Lopez, summa cum laude Michael David Lucas, cum laude Travis Michael Manning Ryan Keith McDonald Corey Andrew McKnight Trevor Darwin Minky, cum laude Jordan Taylor Mesger, Kyle Wayne O'Brien, cum laude, Hunter Scott Ogle, Blas Ontiverios, J. Wyatt Powers, cum laude, Jesse Lara Ramirez, Rodolfo Renteria, Rusbel Angel Rios, Kyle Scott Roberts, Jose Luis Ruelas Jr., Mark Sainz, cum laude, Joshua William Seaman, summa cum laude, Jonathan Douglas Earl Sasser, summa cum laude, Gabe Sibli, summa cum laude, Justin Staggers, Roy Keith Stuckey, Eric Teets, Donaciano Trace Tonchi, Derek Allen Toombs, Sophia Noemi Vargas, magna cum laude, Brad P. Womack, cum laude, Colton Woodard, also receiving an Associate of Science. 
receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Machine Technology, Hunter B. Bachelor, cum laude, Alphonse Joseph Dyke, magna cum laude, Ricardo Hernandez, receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Nursing, Jesse Ray Abt, Yvonne Avilet Arroyo, magna cum laude, Kaylee Lynn Brewster, Dolores Cáceres Nañez, Valeria Marisa Castañeda, cum laude, Rebecca Christine Dobson, magna cum laude, Victoria Covarrubias Garcia, cum laude, Lacey Daniel Gibson, L.D. Gonzalez, cum laude, Jolene Catherine Grissom, magna cum laude, Chelsea Cherie Hale, Bethany Caroline Hansen, cum laude, Carrie Elizabeth Hansen, Seth Michael Hastings, Lillian Robbie Hickman, magna cum laude, Perla Xochitl Jaime, Pamela Denise Johnson, cum laude, Marquis Elaine Callaghan, cum laude, Lacey Lynn Lincecombe, also receiving an Associate of Science, Lindsay Colleen Lubet, Caitlin Luxton, cum laude, Lizette Martinez, cum laude, Marcia Mollett, Edgar Munoz, cum laude, Ashley Loren Nisbet, cum laude, Mariah Nicole San Miguel, Allison Nicole Soriano, cum laude, Nicole Lee Stiles, cum laude, Caitlin Jade Todd, cum laude, also receiving an Associate of Science. Kaylee Beth Veneer, Julia Lauren Walker, cum laude, Jerice Jeanette White, cum laude, Jennifer Candace Whittington, receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Office Administration, Marisol Ayala, Alexandria Austin, Kayla Bernard, Crystal Cantu, Brian Lee Crenshaw, Tindra Lee Hudson, Kimberly Nicole Martinez, Samantha Willett Pettit Newton, Christy Ann Perez, Marisol Rios, Amber Renee Stevenson, Angela Nicole Waslowski, cum laude, Lindsay Cherie Zavala, cum laude, receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Safety, Health and Environmental Management, Sydney Francis Elizabeth Amons, Kimberly Taylor Belleville, Gerald Jerome Bonner Jr. Marshall Douglas Booker, cum laude. Barbara Jean Hasso Luna. Alyssa Monique Luera. Adrian Madrigal. Douglas Anthony Marcasio. Victor Miguel Marquez. Don Ines McGee, Gabriel Michaelitis, Aaron Lee Mills, summa cum laude, John Connor Newman, 
Renee Ramos Sr. Jason Wayne Ricklick, magna cum laude. Amanda Lee Tolmachoff. Roderick Williams. Receiving the Associate of Applied Science in Welding Technology. Alex De La Fuente. Kenneth Daniel Gilliam. Gabrielle Eloise McDonald. Agatha Ann Sanchez. Devin A. West. Family and friends of today's graduates, thank you for joining us virtually this morning to share this celebration with your special graduate. We recognize the importance of your support, not only today, but throughout the entire educational process. So on behalf of the class of 2020, we express our thanks to you. And class of 2020, along with the support system of family and friends, there are also others that have contributed to your success. They've played major roles. These are the men and women, the faculty and staff who have dedicated their lives to your success, to the principles of learning and the principles of helping people achieve. At Brazosport College, we have an outstanding faculty and staff and I am honored to acknowledge their contributions to your education. Class of 2020, on behalf of the Board of Regents and our faculty and staff, I offer my sincere congratulations to all of the graduates. You've worked hard to achieve the goals today and we commend you for your efforts. We wish you the best in the future, whatever your plans may be, whether it's transferring to another institution, entering the job market or other ends. Just remember, that Brazosport College will always be your alma mater and the college of choice. Bye. 